Hello everyone, welcome to the Tim P stream. Our first stream in the month of October comes to us <laughs> on the 20th day of the month. <laughs> it's been a wild and wacky month for me. I've missed all of you very much. I've honestly been a little bit intimidated when I've thought about streaming because it's been so long that I've known I've forgotten what little I ever knew. <laughs> but you know what? You don't you don't remember and you don't learn how by not trying. So we're going to try. There will be an effort. I've made things a little bit easier on myself by selecting our, our old friend, the IXEG737. Probably the sim plane that I know the most and feel the most comfortable with. Fred, where's the button? There it is. Thank you, my friend, Mr. Fred, for the three months of support. Number one subscriber right there. Oh, what is the message? Four ninety nine per stream. Wow. Whoa. That's that's intense, Fred. That's really intense. You're not wrong though. I cannot argue with you. All right. So the plan is, um, we're up here at Seattle. We will head from Seattle to Portland, and assuming <laughs> we don't die in a blaze of glory, or the same stream doesn't crash, or we don't get ejected from Pilot Edge for having no clue what we're doing, or any one of a million things that could go wrong. We will proceed from Portland to out to uh, Spokane. <clears throat> and yes, as Fred pointed out in the pre-show, I'm <laughs> well aware that tonight there are many, many other Flight Sim streamers on. As I always say, we know you have a choice in your streaming entertainment. We thank you for choosing Tim P. Even when it's just one person. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Ground power? Shouldn't this switch do something? Nope, it shouldn't because, whoa, God, no. oh my gosh. I've not hit the battery switch. There we go. Whoops. Stay on and guard. I'm not kidding. This is going to be, this is going to be a rough go. <sighs> Let's see. Galley power can come on. We do have a flight plan filed already to cruise at 19. Uh, no, Chase, tonight is uh, Seattle to Portland to Spokane. Yeah, Brett's got you there. We will come see you in ZLA another time um, for tonight's knocking the rust off stream being up in the Pacific Northwest airspace that I know theoretically know very well and uh, a little less congestion is just what the doctor ordered because I am staring at this panel like I've never seen it before in my life. <laughs> I'm not even joking. All right, IRS is aligning though, and that's the important thing. We do have an up to date nav data. We are at Seattle. We have a GPS position. We'll throw that in from Seattle down to Portland. Should be a short flight. 45 minutes tops. Um, we are filed. We do not have a departure at the moment, a SID. We'll see what uh, delivery gives us. They are on 1280. I do have a solution now for showing the cursor once again. You can see my cursor. I figured that was a big part of the stream. I knew that's important. Um, if it causes, if my solution causes crashing the way the native cursor capturing does, then we may have a problem, but we will one step at a time. Right. Remember to hit the magic button to let us talk on COM1. Let's give her a go. I think my sound settings are right. Seattle delivery, Alaska 402, IFR to Portland. Mm -mm -mm. Ty was having a lot of trouble with his audio on his stream tonight. I mean, everything's turned on. 
Mine too. Yep, that's what we want. I'm not hearing any other pilots. Which is a little suspicious, shall we say. Power's on. Frequency is good. HF1 is selected. Let's check our volume. Radios are turned up. Hmm. Oh, default communication devices. The speakers. Well, that should still make me hear it, though. You might have trouble hearing it, but. <laughs> Loud and clear. Oh, there we go. Just changing the sound devices seems to have done it. That's really funny because that's exactly the problem that Ty had. Like exactly, he he just went and toggled something in his Windows sound panel, and it uh, it did the business for him. Yeah, delivery Alaska 402. How do you read? A lot unclear as well. All right, thanks, and we're ready for that clearance to Portland. Sorry about that. Alaska 402, Seattle clearance on request. Am I? Okay. That's really weird. Because, like, the device that it was on, I should have still been able to hear it. You wouldn't have been able to hear it, but just the, the act of toggling the devices is what kind of kicked it into kicked it into gear. We are filed direct to Buzo, B U W Z O. Alaska 402, clear the Portland Airport via the Seattle 6 departure, red vectors, Buzo, crater 2 arrival. Uh, maintain 9000 and squawk 5360. Hey, Alaska 402, cleared to Portland, uh, Seattle 6 departure, radar vectors, Buzo, then it's filed. Climb to 9000 and 5360 in the box for Alaska 402. Alaska 402, read back, correct? All right. So, minor. Minor change there. Let's go keep that keep that departure. Oh my gosh, it's like I have no idea what I'm even doing. Fumbling around. <clears throat> okay, so this is just a assigned heading and or following a radial, basically. Nothing nothing to that. Nothing to worry about. Seattle VORs 1168. We are expecting a southbound departure tonight. So that means a course of 161. Portland Tower, Alaska 386, holding short of runway 28 left, ready for departure. Five minutes on Alaska the... Alaska 386, Portland Tower, wind 200 at 1, one left, runway 2 at left, curve takeoff. Yep, can come on. Alaska 386. Position light can come on. Cruise will be 19,000. Landing altitude will be just about 400. Go flight mode. And let's go ahead and get our APU going. Number oh, 27, Romeo, Oakland Center. Get our wrap programmed. So, which will take us directly to the crater two from. I don't have a flight plan on file. And we will. What's the weather like in Portland? Uh, you're gonna have to do that from the Palatage website Winds or from your Palatage client. At eleven. Probably ILS two eight left, most likely. Why is that showing Hannah? That makes me a little nervous. Yeah, there's like way more fixes before that. <laughs> Portland arrival, crater from Buzo. There we go. That looks better. All right, so Buzo to Helen's. Helen's at 11,000 or above. Crater. Hiker. 
and then it branches after there. We'll deal with that in a second. Okay, that looks good. Do our performance from our brief. Our zero fuel is 101.1. Reserves of about 2,000, crews of 190. I expect this to complain at me that he can't do it. Nope, didn't. All right, fair enough. Laps five, takeoff. 129, 131, 140, and a trim of 3.4. Set that trim right now. We'll do flaps later. EPU is up and running, so we'll switch the power over. Air conditioning going. Alaska 386, connect departure. Open we'll parts for Alaska 386. Go ahead and pull off the ground power here. Window heat and pedo heat. Alaska 386, Portland. Two minutes departure, on the right arrival on, on the alignment. 15,000. Pushback should be no challenge. You've got plenty of room to work with here, so we'll land that real quick. Push right onto this line, basically. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. And we will be ready as soon as the IRS alignment is done. I don't know what is happening in the other room. Nothing good. Initial climb of 9,000. Flight director on. Yaw damper can come on. Don't have any fuel in the center tank, so you don't need the center pumps. Now we're just waiting for the IRS. What a shocker. Some things never change. Uh, but yeah, this is the new default Seattle that's in uh, x -Plane 11. And yeah, the statics are pretty good. The like flashy buildings are kind of annoying. Like this one over here. It's trying to draw two different buildings here, as you can see. So it, you can see it kind of having some trouble with that. It'd be nice to get that fixed, but yeah, it's not bad. All right, IRS alignment is done. Excellent. We are ready to push. Yeah, mixed facade architecture. Exactly. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. And the altimeter here is 2901. Eight nine nine one. There we go. We'll be on heading select out of here. There's the toe. So far, so good. We'll see what else we have trouble with. <laughs> Oh, I have something else to show off, too, once we get up to cruise. Not, not that we'll be at cruise for very long, but if I don't have time at the cruise, I'll show it at the turn. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. A little ready to connect. addition to the, uh, to the cockpit that I'm pretty excited about. I think you're supposed to do that, right? That's called the tease. That's part of the streamer's playbook. Am I right? From radio. That's true. We'll have more on that after a word from our sponsors. Or after these messages. So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. Alright. Pack 
locks off for engine start. Ignition left, strobe on, and left engine to ground. Start. Our takeoff flaps too while we're thinking about it. Gas for the lift. Alaska 386 connect Seattle Center 128.15. Which reminds me we need to get onto the ground frequency. Which is 21.7. And the tower is on... Nine, whoa, what is the tower? 19.9. All right, good, looks like a good start on the left. Hello. So I'm call my maintain for level 230. Bring that gen on and start the right. For the right side. Zoom that out a little bit. Turn on the weather radar since it's a little, a little not so good up here. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Looks like a good start on the right. Right, Jen is on, bleeds are on, can bring the packs back, close the APU bleed, and APU is off. Take collision, come on. Taxi lights on. Cool. Want to break to RTO? Right, Not clear. Tow so is disconnected. On bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. All right. So we are right off the north ramp here. November three two seven to Romeo, Oakland Center. Roger. Stand by. Right south of that uh, north satellite there. Seattle Ground, Alaska 402 with the weather, north ramp, taxi for departure. Alaska 402, Seattle Ground to runway 16 left, taxi via Bravo. Bravo to 16 left, 402. All right. This is not a complicated airport, so basically just means straight out. Straight out, turn right, go to the end. <sighs> exactly. Unrealistic amounts of traffic. Low amounts of traffic. Speaking of low, these clouds are lower than I thought they would be. It's good to see you, Mr. Fred. I missed your hot takes. <laughs> it's been a very, very busy month for me. Lots of travel. Work stuff has been in overload mode and then starting Monday I just started feeling like I had a just kind of a grumpy cold not bad enough to like not do stuff but bad enough that I didn't feel like I remember seven, two, talking remember to my computer for to copy. This two or three four hours <laughs> heat lamp tepid takes that's good I like that we're gonna have to make some use of that phrase that's an excellent phrase <laughs>
Max and Varo doing a nice job with the clouds as usual. Oh, hello. Where are we going? Jeez. Pedals are a little touchy. November 372, Romeo, clearance of Goodness. level 1, pass ready to copy. This will be a full route clearance. I just had it like a little bit left. Yeah, man. I'm pushing just a tiny bit. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. That's... Even for our usual center line issues, that's super touchy. Alaska 386, connect Seattle Center 135.45. Alright, so the departure procedure is climb heading 165 and the Seattle 161 radial. Easy enough. Alaska 386, Seattle Center, climb and maintain flat level 350. Oh, thanks, Fred. You like the intimate experience that you get here on the stream? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that full light on. Alright, um... Oh yeah, a little kappa, a little laugh. It's fun and games all the way, you know that. That's how we do things here. Get that radial up. Um, we don't need anything else here. Transponder is on. We need to be on the tower frequency, 1199, and the departure will be 1192. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that too, Fred, and I, I will admit I engage in a little bit of that behavior myself now and again. A little kappa is fun sometimes. Okay, trim is set, flaps are set, V speeds are set, brake is set. Remember, three, two, seven, you're on the old center. How do you hear? Pressurization is good to go. Research bank. Okay, try to call you there three times for your FR clearance. Are you ready to copy now? This will be a full round clearance. Uh, it's going to take a while to read and read back, isn't it? See if there's anything else. November 7 to Romeo, clear to the Palo Alto airport. <laughs> you can hear the skepticism the, uh, in the controller right Charlie, now. Zulu, Quebec, Victor 230, Papa X-Ray November, Victor 107, and then uh, Mabri intersection. That's Ma Mike, Alpha, Bravo, Romeo, Yankee, Direct. Maintain 8,000, and departure keep frequency we'll will be 128.7. Temps Squawk too, right now it's 8 degrees. Hold for release. Once he says read back correct, we'll jump in there. Or corrects the read back. I suppose I'm being optimistic and thinking that the read back will indeed be correct. I don't know why this floodlight isn't turning on. This light that's under the console here. I thought it was, thought it was this one. Remember, 7 2 Remember, read back correct, and you said you're ready for departure. Anyhow. Remember, 7 2 Remember, released for departure. Clearance void if not off in 5 minutes. If not off in 5 minutes, advise this frequency not later than 7 minutes of your intentions. That's yeah. With with Marcus, if you're already on the second try and that's all you're getting, you're doing you're doing just fine. And Seattle Tower, Alaska four zero two, short of one six left, ready to go. Alaska four zero two, Seattle Tower, wind two zero zero at one four, gust two three, running one six left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, one six left, four zero two. Windy. So heading 165 till we get on that radial, which I've got programmed here. thing I sort of dislike about this plane is I feel like the ground roll sound could use a lot of help. Like on the real plane, when you leave the ground, you're extremely aware of it, sound-wise. I don't feel like that's the case 
on this sim. All right, gear up. We're at flaps two. Let's go flaps one. Flaps in. Alaska 402, connect departure. Or departure 402. And we'll do a level change up to 9,000. Sped a speed of 250. All right. Geared off and over to departure. Sail departure Alaska 402 through 3,900 for 9,000. Alaska 402, Seattle departure, ready contact, climb and maintain 15,000, direct buzo. 15,000 five, and direct buzo for Alaska 402. All right, so we'll do a level change up to 15 now. Go legs, trigger direct buzo, and LNAV. Take this back to map mode. Temperature looks good, so we don't need our anti-ice this time. And this is this route's going to put us on the arrival pretty much right away. Let me close down my departure charts here. So we're going to Buzo, then to Helens, and to Hiker. And since Portland's landing west, presumably, we'll get sent on this branch. Let's check our legs here. So liquid at 6,000 exactly. That all looks fine. Sun at 210, and vectors from there. Yep. Straightforward enough. Any lights can come in. Invisible plane. Let me climb through the uh, through the gunk here. Alaska four zero two connect Seattle Center one two six point six. Twenty six six for Alaska four zero two. Seattle Center. Good evening, Alaska four zero two through eight thousand three hundred four one five fifteen thousand. Alaska four zero two Seattle Center. Come and maintain flight level one hundred zero. Flight level one hundred zero. Alaska four zero two. Okie dokie. And we're surfing a little bit now. Coming and going still. Rainier over there. Hooking through. It's very rainy here in Portland. I believe it was in Seattle too. Fred can verify that for us all right there's 10,000 we'll go to a vertical speed climb at about 2200 and accelerate up to 280 whenever we're able yeah yesterday was constant pour here as well Number 3272, Romeo, all And yeah, our climb on this one is just up to Number one meter zero. We'll be, do we'll be doing good Romeo to make it up there, center. to be honest. Level change now that we're at 
So here's the thing. Got a box here that I have not opened, and I got this like a week and a half ago. And you'll recognize who it's from. <laughs> the illustrious Val dudes has sent me a box. Three, two, seven, two, Romeo. Why is my autopilot tripping at me? No. What is happening? Got distracted for one second and everything goes to shit. Alright, there we go. We're back. did not send me did not send me weed he did send me a note this looks like a sticker you probably can't see that it's like a it's his little valdez thing a little note and November three two seven full of two packing right peanuts so Made a gigantic mess all over the floor of my office. Remember three two seven two Romeo. If you hear Oakland Center, I dent. Guys, not having a good day. What is it? What could it be? You did a nice job packing. Okay, that's the outer layer. Is that right? An oil painting for the studio. This is so cool. He signed it in the corner. I'll show you the signature. Uh, if I can get up there. There we go. <sighs> yeah. I gotta figure out how to hang it. It doesn't have a Hanger, but yeah, he's pretty good at that whole, that whole Center, one, three, five, thing. Point one, five. So this will be a nice addition to the uh, to the studio here, to the, to the cockpit. Thank you, Val. I will definitely take a picture of it once I get it on the wall properly in a place of a place of honor. But yeah, I've been. Uh, where's Fox the C seventeen? <laughs> I've been a fan of Val for a long time, of course, as I know many of you are as well. And uh, when he he posted a couple of his stuff, a couple of his paintings on uh, Twitter, that they were uh, that they were available, and uh, that one was that one was one that I was like, oh, I definitely want that. I want that in my in my life. I was talking with them about doing something custom at some point, doing a commission, um, but it actually would have been very similar to this painting. So he had already done it. So that worked out pretty well. So thank you, Val. Thanks for the great job you did packaging it to keep it safe. Thanks for the little note. Very much appreciated. That'll be that'll be something I'll be happy to look at for many, many years to come. Alright, just leveled off at one nine zero. We're direct Helen's now. Uh, the Portland weather winds 210 at 11. Visibility 10, few clouds 4,000. Temperature 10, 2.7, so pretty similar to what we just left. Clouds are a little bit higher. 
but not so you'd notice. So. Oh, I gotta update our sub count. We're back up to 11 now. Thank you, Fred, for renewing your subscription. I definitely got a few comments from friends of mine saying, why am I subscribing? You're not streaming. Reasonable, reasonable take. So, glad Oscar to be back four zero two descent via the Creator 2 arrival, Portland Ultimate 3000. 300 and descend via the Creator 2, and we're expecting two eights for arrival, is that right? A firm. All right, very good. So, the lowest altitude on this chart is 6,000, so we'll go ahead and set that. Our FMC was just yelling at us to do that very thing. We'll grab the altimeter as we're passing through 180. Descent will be very shortly at 280 and 1.72. Probably a wet runway, but no rain at the moment. So we have flaps 30 should be fine. And 135 knots on the arrival. Or VREF. All right, down we go. Reset the altimeter there. Any lights can come back on. I've been on this flight many times. Never on a 737. Usually the Q400. And they don't even do a drink service. You just you get nothing. They're always like, "Oh, it's a little, it's a little too bumpy today to do drink service," and it's like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. sure, sure." <laughs> yeah, I think that one that one might get a little lost in translation, Fred. What I was going to have him do was actually an Alaska 737 against um, Mount Hood, so like departing out of Portland. And I still might I still might do that at some point because I think it'd be super cool once I can scrape the coins together to pay him the monies that he is worth. I think that'd be pretty neat. Some traffic. Descend. Descend. Oh, we are descending. Where is the traffic? Oh, there it is. So why was it telling us to descend when the traffic was lower than us? Shouldn't it have been telling us to climb? Am I confused or is that not how that's supposed to work? Alright. So crater's actually supposed to be ten thousand. Or above. Alaska 402, can I part on the perch? 124.35. 2435 for Alaska 402. Yeah, I agree, Fred. Part on the perch, good evening, Alaska 402 is descending through uh, 13,000 for 6,000 on the crater, too. Alaska 402, Portland on the perch, expect visual approach from 8 to 8 left. Visual over 2 8 left for Alaska 402. Yeah, we're descending right into another TCAS target there. It's coming right for us. It's 
600 feet, 500 feet. Oh no. Exactly, Fred. Oh, I passed him. Oh, he's off the left. Off the left. See him? No, not really. Drag required. Oh yeah. Well, we need to be descending right now. Becker's supposed to be 9,000 or below. Not 9,000 or above. Dumb plane. Alright, back on track. Don't stop descending. Ugh. Ugh. Down. Yeah, we're supposed to be at 6,000 of liquid. Do I have to do this all myself? We made the hiker restriction anyway, right on the nose. Temperatures still look fine, so shouldn't have any issues with icing. Once we level off at six, we'll slow up to 210 for sun at 210. Yeah, it's, I've been watching the Sigmets to see if it would get icy with all this precipitation we've had, and I've been surprised that there haven't been more Sigmets for it. It's been so just overcast and wet, I figured for sure have icing all over the place. Yeah, quantity we're on a we're on approach to Portland as we speak. Alright, so that'll level us off. We'll start bleeding some speed off here. Down to 210. Alaska 402, descent of 18. What was the descent again for 402? Alaska 402, descent of 5,000. 5,042. Yeah, it was it was clear here when Cat was flying out of Portland and it was like gray and full of rain, so the sim's definitely a little behind. That speed keep come on coming. All 
Alright, I'll break this to three. Alaska 402, flight 8170, descent to maintain 3000. Heading 170 and down to 3000 for 402. Break and come in. Three. And we can go flaps one, that'll help us keep the speed down. Thank you, Quanadin. I realized that a second before I saw your message. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for the help. American 1393, San Francisco, Clarence, on request. Portland Towers on 1187. Get that ready. Reports over yonder. Suppose we can help him out and call airport inside, huh? Yeah, Alaska 402, we have the field. Alaska 402, correct visual approach, runway 2A left. Visual for 2A left for 402. Uh, that because that would be because that is not Chase. Alright, we need to slow. Uh, November 3272, Romeo, Oakland, Center, Roger, Ah, uh, I see. We need to drop a lot of speed here. Remember 3272, remember to contact 15 miles northeast of the Panosh VOR. Connect North Call Approach 120.905. Uh, Fred, that, that yeah, I, I saw what was happening and and got in on that. That's why that's why that happened that way. Alright, we we'll go speed for 151. We can go flaps 2. Number 3272, Romeo, Norcott LaPerge, Roger, sending us altimeter 3013. That's five. Twenty five. Gear down. Internet 350, Heavy Phoenix, clearance on request, am I? Then we'll go full flaps for landing. Let auto throttle help us out on the speed for a little bit here. Alaska 402, connect Terra 123.77. 2377 for 402. Ooh, get the nose down. Port Tower, Alaska 402, uh, just turn to final on visual 2A left. Alaska 402, Apollo Tower, wind 200 to 11, runway 2 left, clear the land. Clear land 2 left for Alaska 402. Winds are definitely a little better here. All right, we'll go auto throttle off. American thirteen ninety three, Crens of Elabot, Vazer, Copy. Ready, American thirteen ninety three. American thirteen ninety three, clear the Reno Airport, GAP seven departure. Red Vectors, Oakland, VOR, then as filed, maintain one zero thousand. And squawk three one five two. All right, we are low, so we're gonna have to hold Reno, altitude for a while here. Up to Oof. ten thousand. Squawk three one five two. Yeah, thirty thirty knot. 
American 1393 knots Becker. might be, be above Alaska my Connecto, personal minimums in a, in a small plane. There we go. Come a little less dicey now. Alaska 36, so close center much. Yeah, plane won't land. It's tough, man. That's a that's a enough wind to really throw off the speeds and everything. Yeah, three fifty heavy currents of about fast right to copy. Alright, there's on the slope. Your speed under control here. It is clearance, you know, at 576, looking to get IFR to San Francisco. You know, at 576, Phoenix clearance on request. Lower than I would like. Let's get that back. You know, at 350, heavy clearance available, advance ready to call me. You know, at 350, heavy. Go ahead, I'm under. Clearance available, advance ready to copy, sir. Ready, can you hear me or no? Yeah, I heard you this time, United 350 Heavy, clearly the Denver Airport, the OTS 5 departure, you per transition to asphalt. Climb via SID, squawk 3517. Hey, you, sign and you per, uh, climb via SID 3517, United 350 Heavy. I don't think the auto brakes work on this thing. Heavy, that, I'm just gonna say, things slows down way... United 576, clear to the San Francisco way Airport, faster when you get on the ground. departure, messy transition to asphalt. Climb via SID, squawk 5175. Yeah, Alaska 350, or United 350 does sound a little touchy. Okay, United 576 is cleared to San Francisco. ESO 6 departure message transition is filed and squawking 5175. United 576, read back. All right. Alaska right 402, taxi. Tank, go to the ramp. I remain this frequency. Tank, go to the ramp for 402. And we'll remain with you. Brakes can disarm. Well, welcome to Portland. We'll watch the replay and see how messy that was. It was definitely messier than I might have hoped. But all in all, not bad for <laughs> a week, a month out of the cockpit? Something like that. And yeah, Quantit, and after this we're going to go on up to, uh, up to Spokane. Which I don't think I've flown into Spokane on the PE network before, so kind of stoked about that. I missed my turn. It's alright, we'll go back to it. Tire. Troop unknown. Rip light. Rip southwest baggage cart. Get him! Ramming speed! Ah, we missed. Yeah, that was, uh... That was not, that was not Puerto Rico. I'm aware. Hey, Skyhawk67, good to see you. Uh, if you scroll down... I've got all my PC specs there, and this is actually X-Plane 11, not FSX. I'll go ahead and set the brake there. Forgot to turn the APU on, as usual. With the radar off so we don't fry any rampers. Once the APU comes up, we'll kill the engines. I'm 
Almost, almost, almost. There we go. All right, left and right. Which gives us left off and right off. All right, let's hop off the network real quick. Disconnected. We can go watch that. Somewhat bouncy, but I don't think terrible landing. We'll see. Brief for the next leg ready here. All right. Hey, Chicago Duffy, good to see you, my friend. Oh, that wasn't too bad. A little bounce. Nose wheel wasn't too bad. I thought that, I thought we hit the nose a little bit harder. Just left PDX. Nice man. PDX is the place to be tonight. Lots of lots of stream regulars are in and out of there. No Fred sick wheelie. Yes. No, we've had we've had worse than that. We've had better than that, but we've also had <laughs> much, much worse. Alright, cool. Go ahead and hop back on the network here. Connected to Pilot Edge. I was Alaska 402, Mr. Duffy. You got it. Yeah, Skyhawk, I actually don't have mine overclocked, I think, right now. I didn't want to mess with it. But yeah, that Fred, that like that Vegas landing is still in my in my dreams. Alright, we need 13.3 of gas. Go ahead and get that. Zero fuel weight for this leg will be 1022. Oh nice stuffy, yeah, I heard uh, 386. Don't need ground power since we're doing kind of a quick, quick turn. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're not the United. And the routing for this leg. Skyhog67, thank you for the follow, sir. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you, Skyhog. I appreciate that Twitch Prime sub. Gets me up to 12 subscribers. Fred and Chicago Duffy, if you'd give some wings for our new subscriber, Mr. Skyhawk, I'd appreciate that. We are now at 12 out of 20 on our little giveaway that we're planning to do. When we get to 20 subs, step closer thanks to Mr. Skyhawk. Thank you, sir. And thanks for stopping in the stream tonight. All right. Routing for this leg will be Portland, direct Battleground, direct Paps, Zoomer, and then the Zoomer 1 arrival to Spokane. Spokane weather, winds 210011, visibility 10, few clouds at 6,000. So nothing, nothing much to contend with there. Go ahead and get that filed. 402, we're Boeing 733, Portland to Spokane. Cruising of 35,000? Really? Color me skeptical. It's a 52 minute, okay, it's a 52 minute flight. It's a little longer than I thought it was. Also, it'll be Seattle. Go ahead and file that. Plane is eluded. FMC needs to get a quick reset here. 
since we now are at 102 and reserves at 2000, we'll do the cruise altitude after we plug this in here. Yeah, 20 minutes. Well, that's longer than we were at the cruise on Seattle to Portland. So, all right, we'll do the route after we get our clearance. We will go back and do our perf. 350. Take off flaps five and trim at 3.4 once more, just like it was last time. Now we need to bring our break in. Gotta get out of the way, break. There we go. One six Romeo Delta. I think I have heard that name. Now that you now that you mention it. It does sound familiar. And yeah, a lot of the streamers broadcast under FSX just to make it easier to find us. That's that's a pretty universal thing. All right, Portland departure. Let's go find or uh, clearance, I should say. Let's go get our clearance up to Spokane. L. What is it? Liz is Salvatore. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Phoenix Tower, United 350, hold short, 25 right. United 350. United 350, heavy. Phoenix Tower, 25 right, cross takeoff, wind 280 to 12. Okay, clear for takeoff, United 350, heavy. Let the cabin calm down here. In Portland, delivery, Alaska 402, like to pick up our IFR to Spokane. Alaska 402, Portland, current screen, Spokane Airport, Portland 1 departure. Red of Vectors, Battleground, and as filed, maintain 6,000, Squawk 5530. Okay, Alaska 402, Portland 1, Departure, Red of Vectors, Battleground, Initial Climb to 6,000, and 5530 for Alaska 402. Alaska 402, read that correct? That was for you, Fred. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and get that programmed. Phoenix clearance, Delta 982, IFR to San Francisco. Portland 1 departure is basically a climb heading. Delta 982, Phoenix clearance, San Francisco heading. Airport, diesel so 6 departure, Messi transition, then as filed, climb we'll VSN, heading squawk 6532. All right, cleared to San Francisco via the yeah, diesel 6 departure, Messi transition, then as filed, climb VSN, squawk 6532. Delta You're not kidding, everyone's on tonight. Delta 982, read back, correct? It is true. All right. So departure, we will be Portland one off of two eight left. Alaska three eighty six. It's not a toss discretion. Maintain flight level three zero zero. To battleground. Yeah, it just makes this easier to fly. In. Most people who want to watch flight sim don't care what sim it is, so it just makes this easier. Makes it easier to find everyone if we're all in the same game. And PAPS. And then it will be the Zoom One. 350 connect departure. Going for 2 1 there. 7 2 Ramar Ritter. Activate and exec. We'll check on the arrival in a moment. United 350, heavy finish, departure, better contact, climb and meet, take off, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and push it on back. People are loaded and fuel's loaded. I say we go for it. We need ground to push onto the taxiway here. Ground is on 
And the tower is 23,775. Any more we're thinking about? Portland Ground, Alaska 402, uh, I'd like to push on to Tango. Alaska 402, Portland Ground, push on to Tango approved, expect 2 at left. Expect 2 at left and push on to Tango's approved for Alaska 402. We'll just go ahead and go all the way back here. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. We're ready right now. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Okay, flaps are good. We'll do our auto brake to RTO. Initial climb is six. Have battleground is our first waypoint. San Francisco ground is United thirteen ninety-two. Cross push on the Alpha. American 1393, Sarsico Ground, push on to Alpha Proof, okay, expect 21 Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Uh, yeah, Fred, that's what I usually do. Honestly, I don't actually usually mess with it that much because I don't usually use the toga. I have, keep, I always forget to get it bound. But yeah, it's basically V2 plus 20, so... Oh wait, V, yeah, V2 plus 20, not V1. Yeah, West, West has been nice and busy lately. I've been very pleased with that. We had our second, we had a two controller set up on West for the first time, I think ever. We actually activated our, our protocol that brings on an extra controller when needed. And bypass and insert it. Release parking brake. Brakes off. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. All right. Packs off for engines. Number 72, Rama, Roger. Alaska 3D6, connect we'll Oakland Center right 132.2. Time. Pressurization can begin doing its magic. Oh, we need to set our landing altitude of 23. 2380. And start the left. Alaska 3D6, Oakland Center, descend via the Bodega 2 arrival. And this officer is called altimeter 3014. Okay, and one's coming up. November 72, Romeo Connect, Norco, approach 121.3. Start valve is off. <laughs> yeah, the bodega is the main RNAV arrival for San Francisco if you're coming from the north. I fly down to San Francisco quite a bit, real world, and that's always that arrival. Hey, Kilo. Good to see you, friend. Hey, Ben. It's been a while. Welcome back, Kilo. Thanks for the three months of support, my friend. Much, much appreciated. That puts our current count up to 12. Yep, perfect. Gas for the right side, please. Thank you. Number 72, Rabbi, you're still on the same frequency. Connect approach 121.3. United 350, connect Albuquerque Center 124.5. Ah, I've been flying the jar. Okay, cool. I don't have any of the jar planes. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake is on. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Ah, latest update fixed the FMC. Very nice. All right, right side gen is on. Axe can come on, EPU bleed can come off, ISO valve back to auto. 
San Francisco ground. And American if you 1393, off. running a taxi with the weather. American 1393, runway one left, taxi via Alpha Golf Bravo. We are ready to fly. Alpha Golf Bravo to one left, American 1393. Get out of 350, Halberd, etc. Club and maintain flight level 290. Just gotta get rid of this pesky toe and then we're ready to go. Yeah, I see the Flight Factor Airbus, I think, is going to be, oh, is be just fine. Hey, Cinder, can you see a button? Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time, and have a safe flight. I think the, I think the Flight Factor Airbus is going to be fantastic. I will go on the record right now. Noted Comrendon Tim says. I Number 3273, Robin, Rockwell, approach, did you call? Number 73, Robin, Roger, Palo Alto, altimeter 3014. And you can expect a visual approach for Palo Alto. We're on the ground, Alaska 402, ready to taxi for 28 left. Alaska 402, runway 2 at left, taxi via Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo to 28 uh, left for Alaska 402. Slow mo at 30 frames. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's the 11.10 beta. I do have that installed. I'm not running it right now. I know better than to stream a, a, a beta. But I do have it installed as another in another directory so I can mess with the G1000. So far, so good. I like it. Might do some streaming of that beta specifically sometime, but I knew for this. I knew for tonight for knocking the rust off and kind of getting back in the stream of... Swing of streaming. I knew I did not want to <laughs> have beta software. I know Mr. X said he's working on an update to the scenery, which I'm super excited about. It's definitely a few things have changed. Some new parking locations, some new buildings have been built. There's some shelters over here now for the F 15s for the National Guard. They have a little. Um, I don't know what they're called, actually. Open air hangars, carports, <laughs> plane ports. I'm sure there's a fancy name for it. Oh, Forza 7, yeah. I, uh, Hail Shed. Is that, what, is that really what it's called? Because that's a great name. <laughs> that's what they should be called if that's not, if that's, if that's a Kappa. <laughs> Francisco Tower, United Correction, American 1393, All right. Break right on. One left. American 1393, Francisco Tower, 12702, runway 1 left, curve takeoff. Tower frequency. 1 left, curve takeoff. American 1393. Get our departure in the standby. Transponder is on. Trim is set. Flaps are set. Auto brake is set. MCP looks good. Initial climb will be to 6,000. Yeah, I'm heading 283, no problem. Portland Tower, Alaska 402, short of 28 left, ready to go. Alaska 402, Portland Tower, wind 1707, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. 28 left, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading for Alaska 402. Go Big Bird. Eighty knots. Eighty 
No, I just did it manual this time. You're not at 350, gonna come to the center 135.32. I have not gotten the hang of using the toga functionality. I'm sure I will at some point. Oh. I does not want to Alaska do double change. Connect departure. Or departure 402. Can we do vertical speed, please? There we go. Yeah, that's 350. I'll go to center column and maintain front level 370. All right. Laps are in. Gear lever to off. No. Stow the gear. And move it to off. There we go. Portland departure, good evening, Alaska 402s through 4000 for 6000 on heading 285. Alaska 402, Portland departure, radar contact, climate maintained 15000. Up to 15000 for 402. I don't know why I didn't want to use level change there. You can use it now. Alaska 402, resume my navigation, direct battleground. Oh, nav direct battleground for 402. Right on the ground, and down now. Alaska 386, connect North Call Approach 121.3. American 1393, connect Yeah, I need to reread the plane tutorials and whatnot and get used to the auto throttle. Auto throttle toga departure procedures. I'm just used to kind of flying it by hand, but I know it has automation for a lot of that stuff. I also need to get a keyboard binding for Toga, because I don't want to be messing around with pushing that little, Alaska little 86, click zone. Alaska approach, expect uh, runway 28 left. Let's see you later to Portland. American 1393, normal approach, uh, turn right, heading 060. Taxi lights can come in, taxi lights can come in. Pressurization's looking good, overhead looks good. Yeah, concentrating on not tail striking it is never a bad idea. And that would definitely help with that. It is 576, Phoenix ground on a 26, taxi via bravo. All right, so we should get a center hand off here soon. American 1393, climate maintained, follow the wall. Correction, climate maintained, one seven thousand. Yeah, West is busy. It's good. I like hearing this much traffic on uh, on West. Alaska 402, contact Seattle Center, 128.15. 28.15 for 402. Seattle Center, Alaska 402 through 10,600 for 15,000. Alaska 402, Seattle Center, climate maintain front level 230. 230 for Alaska 402. Delta 92, Phoenix ground on a 26, taxi via Bravo, follow the United. Set our speed up to 280. Yeah. Well, the Q400 is is flyable. Um in X Plane 11 it does work. It hasn't been specifically updated for it. And I don't know about the FMC, it might be a little dodgy. But if you're willing to fly a Q400, Remember, seven, two, Robert, the and 18, 5, do a fair amount of the work yourself, it definitely works. I have it, and I've I've right not sure. streamed it before, but I've experimented with it, and it definitely it definitely goes up and down in a lot of the custom systems, like the uh, auto spoilers that extend on the ground and all that all that stuff. All uh, all seem to work just fine. And then November seven two, Robert, turn left heading two seven zero. All right, there's our speed at 280. We'll go V-Nav and let it manage that. American 1383, join uh, Victor 6, center my navigation. The citation, um, there's actually a citation that Laminar is working on. 
that is was originally going to be part of X Plane Eleven uh, at launch, and then they pulled it at the last minute. So I'm still waiting for that citation to reappear as a stock aircraft. And then if Jack ever updates his Q400, um, obviously that'll be nice too. But the built-in one looked pretty good from the screenshots that I have seen. Um, so hopefully that, hopefully that comes together. All right, so we're on 111 miles to Paps. Showing Zoomer at 2307. It's about 50 minutes. I'm gonna say our landing time will be around around 60. Let's let's, let's say that. We'll see how that goes as an estimate. Yeah, that sub I have not actually flown, but I know. I know people are fans of those. I'm fans of that thing. But I agree, a good Q400 would be nice. Alaska 3D60, set up 18 6000. The other thing I want to mess with at some point is one of the Embraers, one of the 175s. SSG, Xcrafts, one of those two. Because I know there's a lot of those flying out, out here in the West Coast, thanks to SkyWest. And uh, Horizon's getting Embraers now, too. I get to fly uh, Portland to Seattle on an Embraer 175 in a couple months. <laughs> Which I'm kind of excited about being able to make that flight in something that's not a Q400. I'm sure it's just a positioning flight to do another leg. But any chance to not have to ride on a Q400 is a good is a good thing to do. I was just on uh, one of those up to Vancouver, BC, from Portland, a couple weeks ago. They're not, they're not great. Not gonna lie. All right, standard. You know that's five seven six zero south frequency connect tower one eight point seven. We do have a nice little tail. Alaska three D six connect local approach one three five point six five. Oh yeah, no, for sure. There's the Embraer 175 is a great ride. I'm a big I'm a big fan of the two and two seating. The one and two in first class is very very nice, very pleasant. You know that 576 Phoenix Tower went two eight zero at one two. We're on a two six Craft Digger. Last year I did quite a bit of flying on the Embraers out of Portland. Went down to Austin. Alaska 3D6 descent and, and back 4, nonstop. Went down to Kansas City and back nonstop. So those are both over three hours. In fact, I think Austin's closer to four. And Alaska four zero two connect Seattle Center one three five point four five. Thirty five forty five for Alaska four zero two. The comfort level on those longer legs is just fine. Seattle Center Alaska four zero two is through flight level two one zero for two three zero. Alaska 402, Seattle Center, comma, maintain flow level 350. 350 for Alaska 402. Delta 92, Phoenix Tire, runway 26, line up and wait. There we go. Okie dokie. Climb all looks good. Ugh, bus to Philadelphia. Those are two things I don't like. B buses in Philadelphia. Let's take a glance at our arrival here and start making sure our FMC programming is got what it needs. Oh, this is a simple one. Zoomer. We're picking it up from there rather than one of the other transitions. Zoomer to gangs.
Yeah, and then from there it's off to the approach. Right, 1393, Roger. Maintain one five thousand. So, easy peas. Oops. Let's get our weather radar back on. Number seven, two room is taking your approach request. Nice view amount of And there's no V or Alpha for Palo Alto. You want the V or DME running three one? Oh wait, no, that's not. That's not hood. Roger. What is that? Off the left. That's Adams. Yeah. Number seven two Roman. The set of eighteen three thousand and proceed direct to San Jose yeah. V O R. And Adams is right here. Because that's us right there. Never been to a PAX event. The ones in Seattle, I was sell out in like two seconds. You know, the 350 connect Denver Center, 118.22. And it's usually over Labor Day weekend, which we always have plans. We usually go United see 576 connect departure. hockey. PAX has sort of become its own beast. I know Kilo goes a lot, and Kilo, you do volunteering too, right? You're not just attending. You do their like volunteer security thing. Break and disarm. You don't know, 350, or Roger. I don't think we'll be rejecting that takeoff. All sky 836, left heading 030. You know, that 576, Phoenix departure, meta contact, climb and maintain, fall level 210. Running the stream team. Okay, cool. November 7th, I'm verify you okay. have the weather in Palo Alto. Got it, nice. That's very cool. November 7th, I'm going to cross uh, the San Jose VOR at uh, 3000 and cleared VOR DME runway 3 1 approach. That's hood back there. Yeah, to the right side. Got a little turned around on my geography there. Alaska 386, uh, turn left heading 360 and descend to maintain 3000. Oh, okay, unplugged this tabletop only. Gotcha. That's cool. That'll be fun. I'll show off again my newly opened acquisition for Mr. Valdudes. For those of you who weren't here earlier when I unboxed this, a little addition to the. Uh, to the cockpit here. Very cool oil painting. From Mr. Val Dudes. Thank you, sir. Signature, where is it? There it is. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. it looks great. He had posted these up on Twitter that he had a couple of finished paintings Alaska for sale. 36, San Francisco Airport, 10 o'clock, 1, 3 miles. And I jumped on this one. It's beautiful. Now I just gotta figure out how to hang it up. Alaska 386, turn off to think 300. Oh, Fred used to play Battletech. I used to play Battletech, Fred. We're Battletech friends. Played that back in 94. Well, I still do a little magic, so. Derek Moss 12, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the stream tonight. Delta 92, wind 28012, runway 26, Griff Digger. So the real question, Fred, is what uh, what great house did you play as? There's, a, cor 26, heading There's a correct answer here. Now the airport is now 11, 2 miles. Alaska 360, set maintain 2,000. Fred, you missed my question. I need to know which house you played as when you played Battletech. Which house of the Inner Sphere? Alaska 386, roger, Kurt, visual approach, runway 28 left, kind of San Francisco Tower 120.5.
Fred's been paralyzed with indecision. Alaska 402, connect Seattle Center 132.6. 132.6 for Alaska 402. How's Davion? FC. Oh, shit. All Federated Suns. Okay, so pre Commonwealth. Pre Lyran Commonwealth. Huh. Is it 326? I think it was. Shoot. Well, we have the other one if we need it. In Seattle Center, Alaska 402s uh, through 5323 for 350. Alaska 402, Seattle Center, Roger. Nailed it. Delta 92, kind of. Totally forgot to write that frequency down. You got a good, <laughs> you got a good demonstration of why I write them down right there. Yeah, I don't know how to say a lot of the names because I played the BattleTech online text based games, the MUDs. So, like, I know it's free. Razzle Hague, Razzle Hague. I have no idea how you say that word. Republic. I know, I know what the Delta words 92, are. I don't know how to say them. I never actually played the board game with anyone in person. I always played the online version. Just as long as you didn't say clans or Karita, then we're all good. Those are the wrong answers. Yeah, thirty thirty. Okay, we were on there. So, Fred, what was your, uh, what was your name on the muxes then? Because I used to do a lot of that shit. I was on the ones that were around before thirty thirty, but I definitely remember thirty thirty. Internet five seventy six. I'm Greg Center, Club I'm eighteen. Follow This is gonna be hilarious because there's a good chance that Fred and I have played. All my games together in the 90s. Between you and the Palo Alto Airport, radar service terminated. Report gas station of fire for this. I don't know whether we'll remember each other. Andre. Do I remember an Andre? What was your alias? What was your nickname? November 7 to Rome. So, the name I normally used was Casey. Casey Erdl, which I will type out. I will spell it. November 3272, Romeo. Thank you, Mr. Iowa. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for the three months of support. Thanks for writing me a little message. H. 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 <laughs> That's great. Thanks, buddy. But yeah, I know. It was a long time ago. But I I uh I played 3056, I played 3065, the sim, the all sim game. You know, 350, played 3030, I was a coder on twenty seven ninety five. Played a lot of the Battletech Battletech games over the years. Had a lot of fun with that. I don't specifically remember you, but that's not too surprising because, as you pointed out, it's been 20 plus years, so not too surprising. But I had a lot of fun with that. That's actually those uh, those games are how I got my start in programming, making little text-based games. And Fred, did you ever use the Thud client? One of the graphical clients named Thud. By chance? Yeah, so Alaska 386, I was I was not the developer of that. The original developer was a guy named Tony, so it was named Tony's HUD, Thud, but I took over maintenance of it from him. So for about four or five years, I was the primary developer on Thud. And put out a lot of the updates and stuff that was done because he had sort of moved out of the hobby and gotten away from it. So I took over that, and that was my <laughs> that's my professional Java experience that I did. Hey, Chili, good to see you, my friend. How'd your stream go? Uh oh, Chili raid. Yeah, yeah, Fred, for sure. 
the HUDs were good. Hey, Chili, how'd your stream go, man? Good to see you. Hello, Chili friends. We're on our way from Portland out to Spokane. This is my first stream in like a month. I took, I had a very busy October, so kind of getting back to basics for me and doing something that I'm very familiar with. And I know the airspace since I'm from the Portland area. I know this 737. I think I know it pretty well. So that's what we're up to tonight. Glad to see you all. Chili's a good friend. He's been a, a friend for some time. Chili, I saw your message the other day asking how I was doing, and I totally neglected to respond to you, which I am sorry. Thanks, Chili, for that host. One, two, five, point Thanks four. for bringing that through. I appreciate you, my friend. But yeah, we're sort of just getting the back into the swing of things. I'm not like Chili. I don't stream every day. <laughs> He's an animal. I don't know how he does it. For me, I got... I got a wife, I got two kids, I got a full-time job, which uh, this month was a big work month for me. Delta 92, Albuquerque Center, call my main team, flight level 280. Started a new uh, new role about six months ago, and then in this last month, sort of kicked into overdrive and went up another level in title, and it was just sort of exploding all around me. So that did not leave a whole lot of mental energy for streaming. Plus, I spent like two weeks on the road going to various uh, various meetings and conferences and lots of work travel so but yeah things are good good to be back home good to be back on the stream getting my resubs in since it's rolled over when I started streaming it's been nice to nice to see everyone a couple new subs have rolled in too which has been awesome appreciate that my plan is to continue streaming every. Alaska four zero two. This on a thousand discretion maintaining flight level two four zero. Thousand discretion at a two four zero for Alaska four zero two. Go ahead and send that in there. We're on VNAV, so we'll set that to send. Yeah. No, I think Kilo. I think you were still. I think you were like laid up with that or something like that. But yeah, this is my first stream in the month of October, which I'm sort of embarrassed about. Because that's a long time. But we do have a little giveaway that we're running. Once we get to 20 subs, we are currently at... Is it 12? Yes, it is 12. Appreciate those of you that have resubbed tonight and gotten us back towards that. Um, I have not announced what that giveaway will be because it sort of depends on when when it happens, what's kind of new and hot out there. But I have shared that the value of the giveaway will be at least $100. So that'll be kind of fun. We'll do a big stream when that happens. We're not that far away. If a couple of the people who Prime subbed originally get back on the board, then we will be... Uh, We'll be good to go. No trouble at all. All right. We are direct to Zoomer. Top of descent is... Yeah, just a couple minutes away. Just about three minutes. Let's check our weather in Spokane. Yeah, I had all my wisdom teeth out at once. And... Didn't feel the Percocets too much, but definitely, definitely appreciated their magic, make pain go away <laughs> quality. That was much appreciated. Henry Prince of Wales, thanks for the follow. Didn't know you were a flight sim fan, but I guess Sobby takes all comers. Ah, uh, got it, Kilo. Those suck. Yeah, Chicago, I heard you. I heard you getting vectored around and couldn't hear you talking, but I could hear the, construct the controller giving you instructions. It sounded good, man. <sighs> well, I, yeah, you, you came too, which implies you were knocked out. I was not knocked out. I was awake for the whole thing. I've never been, I've never been put under for any of my dental work. 
my daughter has. She had a bunch done, and we were worried about her being able to hold still, so they did that to her. Which is a little scary, but she did a great job. She managed it, no problem. Oh yeah, I've only had one root canal, although I th suspect I need more. I'm going into going to see the old dentist next week. Uh, Bad Mojo Eleven. This is uh, X Plane Eleven from the IXCG Seven Thirty Seven Three Hundred. One of my favorite add-ons for uh, X Plane. I do not actually own a prepared license at the moment. I uh, I may end up getting one at some point, but. I switched to Explain Explain full time when I started working with Pilot Edge because in the very early days of Pilot Edge, we were Explain only. So I made the hop, and right after that was when all the like Lockheed acquiring the sim went down and all that sort of stuff, and we were all just I was kind of like meh. I like what we got going here, so been pretty happy with Explain. Started on version eight, I think, and it just keeps getting better. Reckon thirteen ninety three. Cannot beat it. All right, so Spokane, Spokane, Spokane weather. Uh, LA Center, 133.55. Winds 210 at 14. Visibility 10, scattered at 6,000. There is a runway 21 at Spokane, so that'll be assuredly our landing. Runway. Yeah, I know, Kilo, you've had explained for a long time. I know you've been into it. All right. Top of descent has started. Down we go. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with P3D. Nothing wrong at all. American 1393, If I ever get into it, I'll, it will be just for the planes. I won't spend all the time that I've spent in X-Plane getting all my ortho and everything dialed up. I won't worry about the weather add-ons. I know you have to you have to get a lot of add-ons into P3D to get it to look on par with how I have my X-Plane looking, and I don't honestly have the patience or money to try and keep up with keeping two sims up and running, but Definitely wouldn't mind getting into the PMDG and doing some runs in that, so. Might happen at some point. Yeah, that and the Q400 for sure. Also, at the moment, I can't... I can't beta test any of the Pilot Edge clients. So I'm trying to help people with their support problems, and I'm like, I don't know... American 1393, Yoko, Center, Roger. What the answer to that question is, because I don't have a P3D instance to check with. So. I have FSX, but I refuse to use a 32-bit sim. In the year of 2017, I will not. I will not deal with out of memory errors. My machine has 64 gigs of memory. It should not run out of memory ever. So FSX Alaska is 402, dead to me. 118.55. 118.55 for Alaska 402. Seattle Center, Alaska 402 is descending through flight level 276 for flight level 240. Alaska 402, Seattle Center, descent of 18, 1, 3,000, Spokane Altimeter, 2980. 2980 and 13,000 for Alaska 402. 2980. Oops, 13,000. Yeah, so that's the other problem with me and prepared is uh, I would only fly version 4. So anything that hasn't been updated for version 4 is not relevant for me. Landing lights. Delta 982, connect LA Center 133.55. This is like 
summer textures. We need the fall and winter. It's a little greener. Well, thanks everyone for hanging out. I know uh, quite a few other streamers were active tonight. It's a busy Friday night on the Twitch airwaves. But I appreciate those of you who have uh, stopped in, hung out for a little while. The subs have been great, follows have been great. It's a nice, uh, nice feeling to come back in and have a nice little audience kind of show up, just like, just like you did before. Not really missing a beat there. So thanks everyone. Really appreciate it. I do not do this because I enjoy talking to myself. So having some folks to chat with definitely makes uh, makes a big difference. Yeah, exactly, Fred. Seasonal textures. Although I, I I seem to recall seeing something about somebody asked him about that and they were definitely like, oh, we're thinking about it. Of course, that doesn't help you with ortho. But I feel like it should be possible to get orthographic photos at various points in time. Like, we should have the technology for that, right? It just feels like a thing that should I'll be doable. Four zero, the next book on approach 123.75. Spokane approach on 2375 for Alaska 402. Uh, Mr. Mojo, I have most of mine, aside from the planes, listed in my bio. Um, if you come hang out on Discord, I can definitely give you some plane ideas uh, after this after the stream as well. We have a good little community of X-Plane flyers on there that I'm sure would love to provide you some more personalized recommendations. Spokane Approach, good evening, Alaska 402s. How's the weather? And we're descending through flight level 206 for 13,000. Alaska 402, Spokane Approach. Expect visual approach, runway 21. Visual 2-1 for Alaska 402. No shocker there. It does mean we'll have to sort of fly around and turn back. You bet, Mr. Mojo. No, we like we like talking uh, we like talking add-ons in the Discord, arguing about uh, <laughs> arguing about ad arguing about add-ons and planes. So. It's essential part of the flight sim hobby. Right, so now we're direct gangs. Passing through level 180. Altimeter's already good to go. Go ahead and set our approach speed. This runway is nice and long. 11,000 feet. That will not be a challenge. Down to 350. 30. Yeah, flaps 30 should be fine. 136. United 350. Oh, United 350 back again. Roger. Yeah, Duffy, there's something to be said for keeping your setup simple, for sure. We'll grab Spokane Tower frequencies, 118.3. Get that ready. Alaska 402, turn off heading 040, descend and maintain uh, 5000. 040 and 5000 for Alaska 402. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, exactly, Fred. Let's turn it slowing down here. Set our descent rate to about 1500. Let our speed start slowing up so we can get under the 250 knots at 10,000. 
Yeah, 350, it's hard to say. We heard him on Tower earlier, and he seemed a little, a little bristly. Controller was trying to get a hold of him, and it's kind of sassing off a little bit. Hey, Bad Mojo, thanks for the follow, my friend. Thanks for stopping in and enjoying the stream. Yeah, certainly, that's a good word. Certainly is exactly what he was doing. So that's 13,000. Looks like we should be fine on our speeds here. Accelerate the descent just a little bit. Yeah, and technically there is no requirement for a pilot to use specific phraseology as long as they're being understood. Doesn't there's no regs on it, but there's definitely a way to make yourself be understood and be clear and then there's just sort of grabbing an attitude for no apparent reason. It's like two o'clock ish out there. Like I said, this is actually my first time flying into Spokane on the sim, so I don't actually really have a good sight picture, but I think that's it right there. No. That only has run two runways and they're not crossing, so that's something else. A different airport. Felts, maybe. That's fine. We'll just we'll just descend on down and let him turn us around. Let the speed keep dropping to two ten. Roger does not give you access to the runway. I may not know much, but I know that. <laughs> of course it was a Cirrus. Of course it was a Cirrus. It's amazing. Get us slowed down a little more faster here. Also, set our auto brake for landing. Max is a very nice guy for a Cirrus hunter, he's very non stereotypical. As long as we don't hit that mountain range in front of us, 
Everything's going to be just fine. Alaska 402, turn right heading 180. Right to 180, 402. That's on a nice 30 degree intercept. All right, there's our altitude. I'll bring the speed break in. And arm it. Alaska 402, intercept runway 21, localizer, descend to maintain 4000. Intercept 21, localizer, and descend to maintain 4000 for 402. ATC Pro, thanks for the follow. One, two, five. Alaska 402, Spokane Airport, 12 o'clock, one zero miles. Looking 402. I'm sure it's like right there. There it is, and inside for 402. Alaska 402, clear visual approach, runway 21. Clear visual for runway 21, 402. Alaska 402 connect Terra 18.3. Terra 18.3 for Alaska 402. Let's begin Terra Alaska 402's visual 21. Alaska 402 spoke can Terra with 20013 runway 21 Curtain Land. Curtain Land 21 for Alaska 402. BRF is going to be 136. So we'll just go ahead and let this start. Uh, Bring us in here. I'll let it intercept and help us out here. Gear can come down. That's the gear warning because they're not down yet. There they go. And we got two more notches of flaps to go. Let the speed kind of settle out here. Go VRF plus 20 here. Six miles. Any clearances in hand. Runway's clear. Our final flaps. All right. Take the autopilot off and auto throttle. Off. American thirteen ninety three connect local approach from one hundred point two. Cancel that warning. Fast and high. American 1393, Norcal approach, expect uh, visual approach, runway 34 left.
50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Yeah, buddy. That was a good one. About 50, 50 feet per minute on the on the landing, maybe. I was happy with that one. Alaska four zero two taxi Alpha to the ramp. Remain this frequency. Alpha to the ramp four zero two. Yeah, butter that bread. You bet. We'll watch that one again for sure. Much happier with that landing than I was with the one in Portland. Just had the angles better, speed was perfect. That one felt real good. See you later, Kilo. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up once we do the replays here. Laps can come in. Spider American 1393 to one 2000. We'll grab ourselves a park in here and uh, watch that one again. We'll park next to the Cirrus jet that's taking up a gate here. Thanks, Frankie. Hello in Dublin. That's a long way away from me, that's for sure. Other side of the world. All right, brakes on. Let's go ahead and hop off the network. Disconnected. Bolts flying to the earth. Oh, so he flew on a legion. Onto the runway, <coughs> onto the runway with authority, but not too hard. Didn't slam it down. Center line, dead on. Very happy with that one. So yeah, right. Three hundred. 300 feet per minute down. Very nice. Well, that's why I did this stream in this plane, because I, <laughs> I knew there was a decent chance that I'd be able to do that. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me uh, on the stream. It was a very enjoyable two hours. It flew by. Did two very fun flights. Um, I will be back hopefully soon. Definitely won't be a month. Uh, don't know exactly when. Maybe Sunday? Maybe? We'll see. But thanks to all the resubs, the new subs, the new follows, and just those who hung out in chat and said hi. Appreciate that. Um, I'll be on Discord for a little while if you want to say hi. And I'll have the high res video up on my YouTube as usual. Good night, everyone.